I don't know why they like to paint me as a bad girl, but because <laughs> I'm normally a good girl. <laughs> Hi, my name is Claudia Edward and I am a musician in St. Lucia. It's called a woman's songbook and that name was given by Adrian as well because what the play, the musical will show is the lives of women, um, how they differ, but they don't really differ because everybody has a story, uh, but in the end everybody's looking for the same thing. It started as a small idea with just um, a musical which was just Claudia, but um, I run the idea by Adrian and um, we came up with a much bigger picture. At first I was very worried. <laughs> Because it is actually a humongous task, something a humongous task to undertake, and um, it's taken a lot out of me and everybody else involved. But we believe that it's going to be really an amazing show. So it's really about the struggles of women in society, what they go through, um, how they interact with each other, um, how they can help each other overcome these obstacles in their way, whether it be pain, whether it be financial problems, whatever it is. Well, there's Deanna Phillip, there is Darlene Anius and Jess Mara Nelson. These are the three young ladies and of course we're using my band Naked Chords and um, we're just looking forward to a beautiful, beautiful production. My name is Darlene Anius. Uh, I'm a teacher by profession at St. Mary's College. My role in this play is Kathy, Kathy Charles. And she is, uh, she's an educated woman, um, uh, a bit of a, a bit of a prude, if I may say. However, she lives a double life. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> when you come to the show, you'll see what I mean by living a double life. But then there are these elements that keep her behind. And of course, with any woman, she has her struggles as well. So when you come to the show, you'll understand further. We were given roles based on who we are naturally, I believe because each role fits every individual quite well. So, yeah, I, was, I didn't have a say at all, no. Hi, my name is Diana Phillip, and I'm a part of the cast of A Woman's Songbook. I got involved through um, Adrian and Drinia. They told me about this great idea and as we sat together with Claudia, it developed into this wonderful musical that we plan to put on for you guys. They gave me the character of Rhonda. That character is a very spicy character. She um, killed her husband in self-defense. <laughs> I love playing Rhonda. She's very raunchy and you know spicy and everything. And you know, and the different characters, they all come together to just form a wonderful story. I play Sophia, 
and Sophia is a strong woman um, who also has her insecurities that she's afraid to let others see and deep down inside she's looking for what every woman's looking for. She also has issues with one of the other ladies, um, you know, where she's not sympathetic really to how they feel about certain things or you know, what belongs to them. And she's just about, all about herself, nothing like me. <laughs> Adrian is the producer. Um, and he has done extensive work on the script. He wrote the script together with Joanna Frederick, who is the director. Uh, she as well is, is um, really working hard on the project. We are also excited. We have um, um, Kenson Hippolyte, who is the musical director. So he works with the band and with the singers to ensure that what we put out there is um, something that is professional and the sound is amazing. And when you hear the girls, um, do the melodies and, and sing those songs, it's just like magic. We're working like a well-oiled machine, like a team. We have a team of people around us that I've never seen before in any production or um, concert or any play I've been in before. We have a team who's working on so many different areas to just make sure that this is like the best production it could possibly be. And I think as a result of that, we'll just have an epic show. Hi, my name is Suzette Merrill Alexander. I am the marketing and PR person assigned to the team who's producing a woman's songbook, an original musical production, um, an extraordinary production, amazing production, um, with the great creator behind it, um, Adrian Auger in his script, um, the director being Junior Frederick, all of which was initially conceptualized by Claudia Edward and with the marrying of all three persons they were able to create a wonderful production, a wonderful story um, that I think every woman and to some extent men would appreciate why this story is unique is that so many women come from different walks of life but we converge at some point and it's that at that point of convergence that the beauty of you know being a woman is actually brought out even more so I really appreciate the story for what it is and it's important that people don't just look at the surface try to look and understand who the characters are individually We um, are actually doing a lot of covers of um, music from Billie Holiday, Tina Turner, Aretha Franklin, so we're doing a lot of their music and we're going back to the era where the struggles were real, some of, the, some of it was racism, some of it was um, um, being a dancer, you know, all the pain that came with Amy Winehouse as well, so we're going into their stories but we're giving it a Caribbean St. Lucian feel. It's a mix of bringing out the best in your song, so it's vocal ability, it's acting, it's interacting with each other, it's a live band. I've never done any, I've, I've done Sarafina and other musicals before, but this with the live band is different 
so we just have to feel our way around it but the support we're getting i is, is working out it's working out we're gonna put our audience through a roller coaster ride of emotions we they're gonna feel pain they're gonna laugh they're gonna get moments where they're you know they can't control the, the anger that they feel sometimes so it's really going to be a beautiful roller coaster ride What has been a positive for me is that I've gotten to know these girls a little better and I'm getting to like them. Yeah, I'm getting to like them. So, <laughs> and I think we, <laughs> we work well together. I think it's a beautiful team and I don't think I could have gotten a better group of ladies to do this with. Songbook. We're going to have it on the 13th and 14th of April at Sanders Grand, the Palladium, and it's going to be from 8 p.m. So you could come on a gala night where we'll have eats and drinks, uh, um, JP Chenet and Heineken on that day. So you pay $200 for that day because you get extra, right? Apart from the production, you get to you know mingle talk to other people, have something wonderful to eat and drink. We have a red carpet kind of um, event that night. Uh, it will, um, we'll have drinks, we'll have hors d'oeuvres and all the works. That is 200 EC. And the second night is the 14th, which is 100 EC. And it's basically, you just come in to see the show. So at Sandals Grand, um, is a Heineken is our main sponsor. We want to thank them for being on board with us. And we have a couple other sponsors, the Star, Landmark Events, um, JP Chenet, Media Solutions, Digicel, and The Wave. The whole idea of the production is to feed into the needs of a school who's, who's in dire um, need of a theatre art space um, that will be contributing to that project which is part and parcel of the Edward for Education Charity Foundation endeavour of course the founder being Claudia Edward And I look across the water And I think of all the things What you doing in my head I paint a picture 